Oh my goodness. Big oh, oh my, my god. Did you see him? Yes. That was a freaking giant. Okay, I hope y'all can hear me. We are, me and Miss Hunter is the we. It's the first time I've been fishing again since day two of the open on Chick. It's been about three, four days now since that. And I'm telling you, every single day it hurts. I don't like doing bad, and I did very, very bad on day two. Hunter, sum up my tournament. What happened? I thought you did good. See, it wasn't too bad then, was it? But anyways, I just didn't get the bites on day two. Now we're up here where I should have came on day two. I knew it. I, it was my decision. I, I was trying to decide between two places to go, and I decided to go up the Tennessee River instead of the Hiawassee. Today we're putting up the Hiawassee. Probably gonna bust a good bag, probably 14 or 15 pounds today like it's like it's no big deal just because I didn't come here in the tournament. So we're gonna go around and fish, try to catch us a big one. There's not many big ones up here, but I have caught a seven and quite a few sixes up here. Hopefully Hunter can get that bike today and have a good day. We're gonna go flipping, throwing a frog, throwing a swim jig, so stay tuned, it's gonna be a fun day. magic tree he ain't very big though i was in a tournament the other day up here and i contemplated driving six miles just to fish this one tree but i decided not to if that's all that was in here probably glad i didn't yep needed him just came up here but i thought all, all i could do is five like that which that have been 14 pounds but i was trying to catch 18 and make a big comeback it's a nice one though and that don't even mean i would have caught him in the tournament beautiful little black spot on him. these fish up here man are so beautiful Five of those a day would have been in good shape, but we didn't get it. It's fun though. About to catch a big one on the way out of here. That fish splashed me hard. That was a big That was a nice fish. Oh my goodness. What happened? Oh, big one. oh, oh my, my god. Goodness. Did you see him? Yes. It was freaking big. Bring him over here. I, I lost him. How did he get out? That was like a five or six pounder. What, did, what happened? When I set the hook, I didn't have my reel engaged because as soon as it was going in, it went thunk. That was like a five pounder. Or, or big. That was a freaking giant.
not the kind. That's the old head case bait swimming crawl. Boy, they eat that sucker up, man. Nice one. How big is that one? Mm, that's close. I think you're a little short of it. Another good one, two pounder, not bad. We caught like four fish since we got back over here. Here's in that one. Look who I got with me. Miss Hunter Brook, her off day. She wanted to go fishing. Not really fishing. She wanted to go uh, tan on the boat right around, but it's too cold right now, she said. So we're going to fish for a little while till it gets warm. Then we're going to maybe swim. I don't know yet. But we're about to both put on a chest cam and see what we can catch. We're about to fish a couple brush piles first. I've looked at a couple ledges, haven't seen very many fish on them. So go hit a couple brush piles. Hopefully get Hunter a big one. So stay tuned. You wasn't up there fishing though, was you? You sitting down there, you ain't gonna catch very many. Nice one out here deep. Nah, it ain't really even deep, it's like 12 foot, but out here offshore anyways. Do it to it, boy. There's one. Knew there was another one in there. Had to be. Yep, we're recording. There we go. Thank you. Look at that. Not bad. What about that? Dunk, dunk. Got him. Magnum trick worm. What are you doing? Did you hit it? Got one. That's a good one too. Oh, well, he came off. Crap. Crap. That's okay. Get back in there. That's, that's a good one there. Two and three quarter pounder. I know I heard it because your mind was blind. There's one. Nope. Come on, dude. Three and a quarter, three and a half, maybe. Ah. Mmm. 
How big was he? Three and a half? Four? He went on four, I don't think. Finally hit that brush pile for the first time. <laughs> Little him. He had a black spot on him. How about that? I can't say for sure, but Hunter was the last person to throw this. Oh my goodness. I'm just saying. All right, so that was two separate days of me and Hunter fishing. One day we fished shallow, current, stained water. The next day we went out fish deep almost the entire day. Hunter don't like fishing deep too much, which I don't blame her. It's not that fun whenever you don't know what you're throwing at. Uh, whatever you I'll, that's the reason you take somebody who's never fished deep much they the, uh, the ledge bite better be freaking on if you want to make them like it or that you need to fish brush piles or rock piles something you can re actually feel whenever you're dragging you know feels like a fish should be there so whenever she started hitting a couple brush piles she started feeling a little bit better about it i do too actually when i'm out there and i can't hit the brush piles i start feeling bad but when i pull up and i hit a few first casts and you feel like you're gonna catch some you know so that's why i'll be fishing like that for a while I'm about to, they should be out on the ledges pretty hardcore any freaking day now. I'm sure there are some already, but uh, I haven't really found a big mega wad yet. But anyways, if you like that video, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. Hunter's been fishing with me a lot. She likes this new boat. She likes going out in it. When I had the, the nitro, she didn't like to go out in it too much, but oh well, I don't blame her for that. See y'all.